Hey everyone, it's Lauren here. Well, have I got something absolutely stunning to share with you. This here is the brand new collection from Pink Fresh Studio called Days of Splendor. Now, I when I, op I when I saw it online, I thought, okay, yeah, this is pretty. But I'm telling you, when you have it in your hands, it's even more beautiful. I love it when collections collections do that. And look at all these goodies. I can't wait to tell you what my favourites are because I had a quick look through everything and went, oh my goodness. So I'm going to show you through all the papers. Um, I got the 12x12 paper pack, which has 16 double-sided pieces of like the collection. So I'm going to show you those. Um, so you get two of each so that technically you get then an A and a B side of each because sometimes picking the A and the B is just too hard and you need both. So by picking up the paper pack you get both both A and B sides technically. So there we go. So here you go, you've got a little bit of a snapshot here of what we're about to sort of dive into and enjoy. The colours are really... I get in America you call it fall, in Australia we call it autumn. So those real autumny where the leaves are changing and things like that. So um, I will be able to scrapbook our autumn photos whilst in America it's fall photos, which I'm not sure. Autumn feels familiar with me, but f when I say fall, it sounds new and exciting because I don't get to use that word. So I might just have a fall season. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's get into it. Um, and once again, the cardstock is beautiful and thick as Pink Fresh Studio always is. And you get this beautiful sort of snapshot piece at the front that you can do some fussy cutting and create a layout with using those pieces as well. Check out this beautiful sort of snapshot of all the different leaves and florals there in those beautiful colour, in that beautiful colour palette. And then on the reverse side is this beautiful ombre sort of teal into dusty blue there. And like just how stunning is that? Look at this photo of my boys and you can just tell that this collection is going to be good for both boys and girls and documenting those special, special times. Check out this gorgeous sort of constellation with this border of floral. Like absolutely gorgeous. And then we've got the light sort of tealy aqua, well it's not aqua, sort of teal, light teal with those gorgeous moons on there. But once again, with a really fabulous black and white photo, you can see how much fun this page is. And, you know, very little work, you're going to be able to complete a beautiful layout there. Here we go, we have a fabulous frames. Now this is a screaming to be fussy cut. That's for me, I absolutely love layering behind my photos and having little bits of frames popping out different colours. Um, well, that one's going to be definitely a fussy cut version for me. And how gorgeous is that one for a background? So I'm definitely glad that I've got the, the extra set so I can use this one as a base page for a layout. That's gorgeous, that beautiful sort of light peachy cream colour. Here's a fabulous one. Now, in each of the collections, we sort of get a page where there was a real feature down the side. And, you know, look at all this journaling space and a space to add your photo there. Once again, like you can incorporate, do some fussy cutting and layering a photo in there. And then you've got all this room to add a really great title and some really great journaling down the side there. On the reverse. Ah, yum, 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 yum. I can see myself cutting this into some 3x4 and 4x6 cards for my Project Life album. I just love stripes in my Project Life album, so this is definitely going to be fussy cut, this one. Once again, happy I've got both, so I can have enjoy the A and the B. Look at this beautiful font. Absolutely gorgeous. You know, you could even fussy cut these words and, you know, making those your title, thankful thankful for these amazing remember this love this so much make the most of today my heart is full together forever stories from the heart blessed beyond measure simply delightful yeah so look absolutely gorgeous and look at this beautiful pretty one i just love white white i think might be my favorite color 
It's just gorgeous. White always just makes something pop. Here's a great cut apart sheet, once again, perfect for Project Life um, and if your pocket style scrapbooking here. Once again, we've got tags, things that you can layer up behind your photos and gorgeous things that you can use as a title. So I really love that one. Do what makes you happy. There's no place like home. How cute is this one? The moons. It's gorgeous. Wow. Beautiful camera. Always and forever. Moments that matter. And here, oh, this is a lovely one as well. Once again, you could fussy cut that one or you could really leave it as is. That's a really gorgeous one. Let's see what photo I could find that might go on there. Maybe a bit busy. Yeah, so it's really about trying to find the right photos for when your background is busy and your photos are busy. You're really trying to find photos that have a really clear background so it doesn't sort of take away from take away from your photos trying to find that balance there so that's really great oh yum 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 see this one's already doing all your layering for you how nice is this look at this if I had a portrait I think I might put a portrait there look at that journaling layering embellishing absolutely beautiful and you're really getting a snapshot of all the colors in this collection except that really bright blue but a really lovely and in essence a neutral kind of page there um, so beautiful this is a fun one look at all these gorgeous elements that could either be fussy cut or just kept at as is even turning this into a four by six um, card for your project life could easily be done and it's absolutely beautiful look at this delightful little camera is the umbrella oh so delightful focus on the good comfy and cozy beautiful absolutely gorgeous and what a fabulous space page with a really lovely little intricate border there along the edge beautiful in that nice green color absolutely lovely and here we are back at the ex with the extra set so there's all the gorgeous high quality thick papers and now we can move on to some of the embellishments. So here is the cardstock stickers, you get 57 pieces. I love these for my pocket style scrapbooking because you always get a selection of labels as well as little tags um, as well as sort of things that you could use as title pieces. So there they are, look at this, family time, feels like home, happiness, you can add that bit of journaling there, um, you get some circles, absolutely beautiful, isn't that a lovely, lovely set there, the cute little apple, time well spent, magic hour, warm and cosy, all those fall, autumn-y kind of feel there. Um, we have two alphabet sets. One is this gorgeous sort of scripty font. It's in that really sort of deep mauvey colour, which is really lovely. I'll take a side out there so you can kind of get a close-up look. See that beautiful mauvey colour there? And I love how you can sort of link them all together and get that really beautiful script title there, custom title. And then we've got a fabulous little alpha set. Once again, Pink Fresh has done this on uh, the last few collections where you're getting all the colours in the spectrum of the collection which mean that you can custom your titles really, really well um, and they all coordinate beautifully. So there's that fun, fun set, perfect. You've got your numbers there as well. So there's those. We also have the journaling bits and you get 12 in this collection. There's a bit of a snapshot on the back, hopefully... There's not too much of a reflection there. These are really fun. I've ha I, these make layouts really easy. If you're really struggling with your mojo and things like that, um, you can s quite simply make a layout or start to build a layout um, using these journaling bits. And an example of that sort of is like you've got um, all these bits sort of interact with each other. So you can add your little bit of journaling in there. Um, yeah along these sort, sorts of lines so in the past I've sort of laid them down one side something like that there 
You could layer them in the center and really having a center thing, a bit of mixed media out the side. And then once again, you can pop your photos where they need to be and a few embellishments, a bit of mixed media, and look at that. You can really see this this little real set really just for quick and easy layouts. It's definitely one worthwhile. And then you can just use these little cards to add in some secret journaling or just make it a little bit interactive and you've got your layout done. So this, I just love them. They're, they're a must for... Um, all pink fresh studio collections and I'm so glad that they're becoming a regular little thing so as you can see you've got the pockets with the old fashioned sort of like postal tag there loving this season made for this this it's the simple things this one here is a bit of fun because it's got a sort of a double flappy thing um, splendid that gorgeous constellation there some more journaling bits fall vibes there Happy memories, gorgeous with that eyelet in there. And enjoy the now. All good things. And this beautiful one here. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. So that is the journaling bits. 12 pieces. And that's sort of a definite must for um, if you're wanting a quick and easy layout. Then that's the one you need to... That's the little pack that is essential. Now, are you, re are you ready for this? I have, I have a bit of a thing for puffy stickers and these would have to be the most beautiful puffy stickers I've seen. And I've seen lots of puffy stickers. I have lots of puffy stickers. Check these out. Oh my goodness. I flipped out when I saw these. <laughs> I love puffy stickers. I love little puffy stickers because they are so perfect for building clusters on your layout but also in your pocket life pages because I love putting little things in all the little pockets and how sweet are these. The colours are really rich. They're the, just the right size, super tiny. Let's have fun. Let's stay home recorded. Every, everyday snapshots, absolutely beautiful. And check the colours out. I can't tell you how much I love these. This is what it's all about. That's exactly right. This is this is what it's all about. This hobby. <laughs> so they, I've just I was blown away. Absolutely yummy, scrummy. Also, we have got some chipboard flare. I love the chipboard flare. I balk at traditional flare because they're kind of bulky, and I always go to put one on and go, no, it's too big and bulky. But this is the flare alternative because it doesn't bulk out it's not hard to find a spot for these gorgeous little things and once again the colors are absolutely rich and beautiful and clean and just lovely you're a sadar pajamas all day happy home beauty this feels good fall cozy perfect absolutely finding the light that's gorgeous the next thing we could go on to is, what's this one? The stitched elements. Oh my goodness. I'm not, oh, this is a new thing, I think. A new thing. Oh, I love these ones where people do all the intricate work for you. I love it. I love it. Making beautiful things. Look at this. A gorgeous, oh my gosh, that's so cute. Look at the stitching. Can you see that stitching? absolute perfection totally 100% yes it is oh well there you go I just unstuck it but that's fine look at that and it's got a little bit of washi well pretend washi on there but that is so cute I'm gonna move these out of the way so we can kind of like get this going here absolute perfection so much to love look at that absolutely this is still now scrappy work for us I love that. See the stitching? Absolutely super cute. So there's a nice lavender one. Ooh, look at this yummy frame. Simple joys. And there's that gorgeous stitching there. Sort of like the whole DIY embellishment thing, but they've done the DIY bit for you. Keep the good stuff. Cute little vase there. And there's that stitching. Oh, get cozy. 
See how cute is this? Make time for pause. Oh yeah, we definitely need to do that. Love this. Nighttime magic. Oh my gosh, I've got the perfect photo for this. Oh my, Katie went to sleep last night and she had little Elsa's little paw in her hand and I snuck in. The flash went off but she didn't move. I might see if I can get it up on my phone and show you in a minute. The beauty of right now. How gorgeous is that? Filled with possibility. Feels like home. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to try and quickly get my photo up of Katie so I can do sort of a mummy like. And I've even edited it. I have because it was just like it happened last night and I went in and I went, oh my goodness, look. Had dad's beanie on too. Here we go, look. Can you see that? Look at this. Nighttime magic. <laughs> look at them. Dad's beanie. Hold Nelsa's hand. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, there's my mummy. My mummy moment there. And I, yeah. I think that's the photo I'm going to scrap with this gorgeous collection. So how many bits were there? Can anyone remember? Ten pieces. Ten pieces of scrappy work done for us to make our scrapbooking quicker and easier but still super detailed and gorgeous. That's wonderful. Okay, what's next? Oh, this is a bit fun. These are the fabric bows. How cute are these? You've got to spend a bit of time putting these together, but it is totally worth it. They're fabric. How can you not love something that's fabric and another way of adding a different texture onto your layer? Oh, look at this cute. Look at this cute one. Look at that. Oh, my goodness absolutely beautiful so I'm going to have fun usually what I do is I sit down when I've got a favorite movie or TV series and I'm watching which at the moment I'm all out if anyone's got any recommendations I'm kind of into like um, Virgin River um, The Last Kingdom um, those kinds of those kinds of ones what else did I just watch that I love clearly it wasn't very memorable but I love a good TV series. Something that's not too stressful where like people are going to get like... I, I don't mind a bit of sci-fi because I know it's not real and people get hurt and I can pretend it doesn't really happen. <laughs> okay. On to the... Now, we've got two ephemera packs. The floral ephemera and the normal ephemera, which has some florals in it, which is good because... I love just layering the heck out of things. So I always need lots of florals and I usually end up fussy cutting like pattern papers and things like that. So I'll just show you, look how many pieces of beautifulness are in this pack. Leaves, florals, flowers, all different colours. Absolutely beautiful. So we've got just a whole big bag of these gorgeous flowers. There's no excuses for not lots of having... Sorry, I got big tongue tied there. There is no excuses for not having beautiful floral pages with this set. So, get that one because that makes scrapbooking super easy. This one here has a bit of everything in it as well. Oh, look, tiny little ones are already trying to fly out at me. I'll put them over there for a minute because we want to have a close look at this one. I might slide that out. Look at that cuteness already. A stamp. The, it's a bit of a taster of the floral. So these are more floral clusters where there's only a sort of a few floral clusters in that one. They're more individuals. Okay. Once again, they're doing our work for us, which is lovely. Look at these floral clusters there. Just be present. Happy little moments. Loving this. Full of joy. Aut autumn! Yay! yay. <laughs> oh, look at that gorgeous floral. Uh, details. Smile often. My favourite. Oh, nice. This one's nice. 
a little acorn in there. Let's get cosy. These ones pop out, see? You've got a little like circle frame there. And this is a cute little journaling piece. Oh, look at this gorgeous scripty font. There you go, together. Little chubby leaves. There, gorgeous. Oh, I love this. Look at this. Little dragonfly. And that pop of gorgeous rich red. Another little journaling spot. A little coffee mug. Florals. Fall. A little teapot. And you pop that little bit out there, see? Get rid of that. This is everything. Oh, I love that. Cardigan. And a camera. Thankful. Another little frame. And a little fall leaf. Umbrella. Oh, how gorgeous. Look at you, Luna. <laughs> and, oh, what do you call these? Are that is that a raccoon? A beaver? I'm not sure. That they're not in Australia, I don't think. Squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> a leaf. Like a dream. Ah, oh, some gorgeous little slippers and another little leaf. A little home. Oh, that's cute. That's sweet. Everyday magic. Oh, gorgeous little home, bit of a Scandinavian feel there. Delight in the little things. And another little leaf. Wild and free. And we're finishing off with a couple of little leaves. And check out this little bit of sweetness right here. There. A little shooting star. So there you go. There's the ephemera there. And to finish off this gorgeous collection we have some coordinating enamel dots so once again everything's really beautiful there you go there's those gorgeous colors let me know in the comments what is your favorite out of the papers the embellishments the puffy stickers the journaling bits what are you going to buy first what do you have to have out of this collection Yum. Little, oh yum. Yeah, there you go. You can see those. So there you go. There's Days of Splendor. Get to your local scrapbooking store. If they don't have it in, tell them to get it in or jump online and um, start scrapbooking your beautiful fall slash autumn photos um, with this beautiful collection. All right, guys. Take care. Happy scrapping. Bye.